guys, it's Gigi here. I'm um, just here with another video for you guys. Um, I know it's been a while. I have been busy with school, with work, with mothering, and um, yeah, <laughs> just been busy. So I'm sorry, I will try my best to be consistent, be more consistent. Um, I did have to order some lighting because I would I had to keep trying to um, record while it was still light outside because I didn't have studio lighting yet but now I have studio lighting so I'm really excited so yes it is actually six o'clock right now and it's dark outside and look at this it's bright so I have my lighting <laughs> anyway um I just wanted to talk to you guys today just about um being mindful of the people that you surround yourself with, the influences that you keep in your life. Um, and I want to bring this to your attention because I myself have, I've recently gone through something where I've had to sort of let go of a friend and it was, it was very unfortunate and I love her to death, but you know, sometimes you just have to remove yourself from people and from situations in order to grow. And sometimes, honestly, I feel like it helps that person to or it helps those people because I feel like um, when people know or when people realize that people are leaving their life or when people know what it is that they're, that, that they're doing wrong and you bring those things to their attention, I feel like it kind of forces them to think on it, to really reflect on themselves. Even if they are in denial at the time, I really feel like it helps and I'm not perfect like I'm far from perfect I have flaws and um, you know we all do but I feel like at certain stages in life you have to just learn to surround yourself with like-minded people or people who appreciate you for you or appreciate your journey um, and people who are more who are loyal so I just encourage you to be mindful of who you're around another thing is when you're around people who aren't really on the same path as you are a lot of times you can transition to their path and you can start to become more like them which can be a good thing sometimes but when you have your own journey and you have certain things that you're after in life and certain things that you want you can't carry on like other people's traits that um can sort of hold you back from your goals so you know, a lot of times we become the people that we that we surround ourselves with, and I found myself becoming some of my friends before. And you know, I've either had to give myself space from them and just reevaluate myself, or um, like I said, I've had to let go of a friend. And like I said, it's really unfortunate. I'm not here to um, make anyone feel bad at all. Um, I'm just, I just want people to understand that you don't have to feel like you are held hostage by friendships no matter how long they've how long those friendships have been there you know I think sometimes people look at the longevity of things and um, that's like saying you know you've been in this abusive relationship for 10 years why would you leave this abusive person because you know because you've been with them for so long they're abusive <laughs> so it's the same thing with friendships and I tell people I tell some of my close friends all the time that I look at my friendships now as relationships because for one the people who are closest to me I do have a certain level of intimacy with them now, just like on the um like the things I might tell them you know and I might be open, more open to them and I might even be more open to just say I love you like I don't say that to all of my friends but to the people who are closest to me I show that sensitive side of me um so I do think so yeah um just be mindful of the people that you surround yourself with and just because you have to let someone go does not mean that they're bad it does not mean that they're a bad person and it doesn't mean that you have to hurt them in order to let that friendship go and like I said I'm not perfect so I may not have went about things the best way but I did in the end I tried to um, make my point in the best way that I could and still let them know that I love you you know and I really wish you the best and you are a beautiful person but right now I just don't feel like I can go further with our friendship because of this you know and so it's okay like it's okay to still love people and it's okay 
to still see the good in people. I think sometimes we also um, make up excuses for people and we try to justify the stuff that they do <laughs> and we try to make excuses as if what they're doing um, isn't that bad or you say well you know I've known this person for this long and they've always been like this so I just accept the way that they are. You don't have to. You do not have to. Please stop. Stop imprisoning yourself. I've, not, that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm like like when when that has happened I felt like I'm like I don't know like I'm in prison to this person like I have to be their friend no matter what and that's not the case so love yourself enough and love your friends enough the people your good friends and the friends who aren't really the best for you love them enough to let them go and let them grow and love yourself enough to let them go and let yourself go and grow you know so um, that's really all I have to say today. Um, yes, yeah, so I just, you know, just be mindful of who you surround yourself with. Keep positive energy around you. And if you're that toxic friend, then work on you. I've been that friend before. I've had to self-evaluate plenty of times. I've been that friend. And I've um, noticed things about myself that I just didn't like. Um, one thing I will say, and I might make another video on this, is, um, and I like to call it, um, mirror therapy like I'll look myself in the mirror and I will take I will really take out time to just look at myself in the mirror not for vanity reasons or anything like that but really just to look myself deep in the eyes and like ask myself like am I satisfied with who I am and there's been times where I look at myself because we see ourselves in the mirror all the time but if you're not looking for that um the, the depth within yourself then you're not really thinking about all of the stuff that you got going on. You're just looking at how you look. But, um, you know, I've looked at myself in the mirror for that purpose. And, like, I've literally um, gone, you know, into tears um, just looking at myself. So, um, take out time to do some mirror therapy. You should try it one day. Um, yes, I'll probably make another video on that. <laughs> That'll be... Um, more extended but yes that's about it um yes until next time i love you guys and i will talk to you guys later bye